Well, hello everybody. Dave here, back to you with a brand new video on the channel. I'm trying to get more creative with my uh, greetings for videos. Um, I think I'm going to start just making fun of other YouTubers and the way they do it. <laughs> because I have a sense of humor. So sorry. So today's video is another video on the Razer Phone 2 because it's been a very popular phone on my channel. I wanted to make this video because... One, I bricked it by trying to flash the Android 13 GSI to it. Do not flash the Android 13 GSI. Um, and I figured this was a perfect time because I had a request of the Lineage OS uh, Android 12 to the Razer Phone 2 to see how it runs. Now, I know it says unofficial. There is an official build of Lineage OS 19.1. I downloaded the unofficial because the unofficial comes with some little uh, add-ins like uh, some Google Pixel features and stuff like that that is not in original Lineage OS 19.1, but it's based off of Lineage OS 19.1, so everything is there that should work. Uh, one thing that I see does not work with Lineage OS is screen resolution. You cannot change it. You also, I believe, can't change refresh rate which actually gives a plus one to the GSI ROMs. GSI ROMs, you can just do the, uh, what is that, the PHH settings? Um, I forget what the actual guy's name is for making those. But as usual, this video assumes you already have ADB installed on your computer system-wide. It assumes that you already know how to unlock your bootloader because I've shown that a million times. I don't want to show it again. I might make a video that is strictly about unlocking general Android bootloaders. And then maybe as a community, we can make a list of devices that are supported with just standard fast boot flashing unlock. I feel like that's a really cool idea because I don't think I've ever found a master list, so to speak, of, hey, this is just how you unlock this device. So I'd like to create a master list. It sounds like a lot of fun in my head. So let me know what you guys think about that idea and we can potentially do it together. So anyway, let's get into how you flash Lineage OS 19.1. I believe this already comes with gaps pre-installed. Let me see. My unofficial with Google apps and pixel goodies. So that's the one I downloaded. It does come with gaps already built in. So we're going to leave it. By the way, I want to put um, a myth to rest. If you flash Lineage OS to any Android device and then just don't flash gaps, that is not a de-Googled device. I've been seeing that all over Twitter lately as Graphene OS is growing more popular. Lineage OS without gaps installed is not de-Googled. It is just an Android ROM with no Google apps. There's more Google stuff in the ROM than just the Google apps. There's more in a device that is still communicating with the Google servers no matter what you do that you physically have to code out. And that's what Graphene OS does. Anyway, you just download it, you know, get it into a folder of some kind, open up your CMD. I'm just gonna actually open it here. And you wanna do fast boot devices to make sure your device is seen. If your device is not seen, I did recently record a like five minute video showing how you can manually install the fast boot driver if your computer does not recognize the device. That's like a three minute video, three to five minute video, definitely worth the watch if this is your first time ever doing this sort of thing. The Razer Phone 2 is notorious for not being recognized automatically for the fast boot device driver to install. So, most of the time, unless you've flashed your device in the past, it is not going to be recognized. But anyway, what we're going to do is flash boot. Fast boot flash. God, Jesus, I can't type today. And we're going to flash the boot image for Lineage OS. This adds Lineage uh, recovery, which means we want to go into recovery now. Fast boot, boot recovery. And we are rebooting to recover. I hope. This Android 13 ROM that I tried to install the GSI royally messed up the phone. 
I'm hoping it will at least go to recovery and I can just wipe it and flash the ROM with no problem. But no promises. But I also learned something new when it came to, oh, it's booting into and it's booting into the ROM. Which is bad because it only boots for about five seconds and then you start getting a safe mode loop. Let's try this again. Here, hold on. Give me one second. Uh, I can't pause because I am currently holding my power and volume down button. I'm going to pause real quick. I'm wondering if I just erase my system part, erase my system partition, to be able to get to recovery the normal way. Give me one sec. Never mind. Fast boot reboot recovery does apparently not work on the Razer Phone 2, and I'm only learning this now. On the screen, physically select recovery mode and then hit the power button to select it. So what we're going to do now is factory reset. Which means we're going to format the data and everything. And then we will do apply update, apply from ADB, and we will sideload the app. So ADB sideload, lineage OS. You are also going to need the Magisk APK. Uh, version 24.3 if you want to have a rooted device I think I have it here already I'm not sure let me find it real quick one sec all right I found it and I want to let people know one thing about Magisk you can still flash the APK in recovery to uh, root your device it's very simple one thing you do need to do is if you're on Windows 11 go to your view show Show file name extensions if you don't see APK. You want to change it to .zip. Once it's changed to .zip, you will be able to do the exact same setup, ADB sideload, and then your Magisk zip. And you will be able to flash the zip in your recovery to root your device. And I'm going to do that here in one moment once this is done calling on my phone. But so I'll come back when this is done. Alright, so Lineage OS is done flashing to the device. Now I want to root it. So it's the literal same process. You just click apply from ADB, put your device in sideload, ADB sideload, Magisk. And then there is one extra step. On your screen, it will give you a yes or no question. Hit yes. And from there, Lineage is installed. Gaps is installed. You get a little few pixel goodies if you use this version of Lineage. And it's rooted. So in about 10 seconds, this will be done on my phone. I think. Hopefully. Yep. Hacking boot image, flashing the boot image. And done. Now we can just... Reboot system, and it will boot into Lineage OS. So real quick, I want to find tools, screen recording. And once the device fully turns on, I will enable the screen recording, and you will see Lineage OS uh, running on the device. So it's going to take a second to boot. I won't pause this right now because I want you to know how long it takes to boot. The boot animation started about four or five seconds ago. First boot sometimes does take longer than every boot afterwards, but it's actually already dimmed the screen, which means it's pretty much done with the booting process, and the boot is done right now. So I'm at the Get Started screen for Android. I just need to go through and... Set it up because I did factory reset, set up offline, it'll be faster. X, 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 yep, next. Man, so many pointless things. Wipe up to go home. And let me enable USB debugging, and you will see that I am on bus 12. I did try 12.1 as a GSI as well. Also did not work very well. Oh, USB debugging is already on. There we go. So as you can see, we are on Android 12. Let me go to about. 
see phone 2 really dumb name for a phone android 12 lineage aura user debug 12 we are on android 12 and as far as let's see theme dark theme is enabled display size you can basically do the dpi stuff but it is stuck at the 4k resolution there's no way to change it there is all the uh, options for refresh rate going all the way down to 30 looks ridiculous on this phone um, i recommend minimum of 60. if you want it to be really weird go 50. <laughs> Uh, I did see a mod once to do this as single digits in between. So you could set it at like 54 or 38 or something like that. But I don't know what that was. As you can see, we have everything here. We also have the annoying motorcycles outside my house. Weird thing is I don't see the Magisk app. I did flash it. Let me see if it's under apps. If it doesn't show up, you can always just manually install it. Yeah, Magic Manager is in here. Be install. Try this. Go back to APK real quick, and we'll see if it detects the root. If not, I might just have to reboot back to uh, recovery. Yeah, it says I'm not rooted. Yeah, it says I'm not rooted, which in that case you can do reboot recovery and you just might have to flash it again because it might not have taken it due to maybe something with the recovery partition changing. It happens sometimes. Normally I reboot in between. I didn't think I was going to need to for this, but apply update. We're going to do that real quick. We're going to And yeah, I might have accidentally clicked no and didn't realize it as well. Done that before several times. But that's all it takes to boot and root Lineage OS as the supported ROM instead of using a GSI image. I still think on this device specifically, GSI ROMs are kind of better. If anybody out there has the Graphene OS compiled ROM for this, I am definitely interested in it i do want to learn how to compile graphene os but you almost need a whole computer with a whole separate storage drive which i could do i have like a uh i have a hard drive toaster as i call them that i could plug the drives into i want to learn to actually compile roms myself so we're going to make sure this is rooted now it should be but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Find out real quick. Now it's rooted. I don't know what happened. Maybe try between doing the Lineage OS sideload and flashing Magisk reboot recovery. Other than that, flawless. Completely good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.